Oh boy. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Saints of the Most High, Yah. This is Pastor Rufus coming to you from the servants of Yah. Uh, got a quick one here for you. Just something I want you to nibble on. I will probably come back later because I got a video I want to do really in, uh, admonishing us to seek the Holy Spirit in this season that we're in, in this hour. We should be doing all the time, but I'll break it down more in that video. This video is not for that, though. I'll make this one quick. Um, I got in my hands an excerpt, 31-page excerpt of an interview that was done years and years ago. Matter of fact, it had to be done in 98 because um, the information says that Dial and Straightway had only been on the land for a couple months. So this was done in 98. Uh, Charles Dow was being interviewed by a guy named Jim Searcy or something like that. And uh, I just want to read a small uh, insert of this to y'all. And I want you to meditate on it. I want you to think on this, okay? I want you to go to the Father about this and tell me how you feel. All right? The guy's name is Jim Searcy, so I'm going to say JS when it's time for him to speak. And I'll say CD when it's time for Pastor Dow to respond. All right? So follow me. Starts with Jim Searcy saying, There again is where the God ordained oversight comes in. You better know there is God ordained spiritual authority if you are seeking to bring community, bring together a community of faith. First, this oversight responsibility will have to be filled somehow. I was wondering if it is a principle that the man who owns the land is not necessarily the man who would be in the position of spiritual authority in a community? Question mark. So that's Jim Searcy asking him, is the man that owns the land the same man that's in spiritual authority? That's what Jim Searcy's asking in this community, right? If you're going to do community. Here's uh, CD's answer. He says, <clears throat> my example is that when I purchased the land, the deed was put in the names of the people. The land is the people's land. If they want to run me off, they could, but they won't because they fear Yah. JS responding, Jim Searcy, he says, that is a good point. That, I mean, that is the point. You don't own the land. You might have signed the deed, but the deed is put together in such a way you don't own the land. You are the spiritual leader of the community, but you are not the owner of the land. CD responds and says, when we signed the deed, the other brothers were the trustees who owned the land. I put the land in the name of other brothers. JS's response to that was, I think there is a spiritual principle involved found in Leviticus 25. Now, who's been telling y'all to go read Leviticus 25? Think about that for a minute. Who's been saying it for a minute now? Go read Leviticus 25. So back in 98, this Jim Searcy guy understood that there's a biblical principle involved when you're doing this, and it's right there in Leviticus 25. Let's, let's see how CD responded. This is CD response when Jim Searcy said, I think there's a spiritual principle involved found in Leviticus 25. Chapter 25, CD said, it is. So he confirms and agrees that it's there and he knows it's there. Then he says, it is a principle of truth. It is a principle of righteousness. Even though I went and purchased the land, the land is not mine. The land is God's. It's God's land, brother, because we are only here for a short time. A practical way of proving that the land is God's land is that a spiritual authority raised up by God on that land does not own the land. We know things are going to change radically soon and our king is coming back soon. We are not building a kingdom here. And that last bit you heard was from Charles W. Dow. Responding to him saying 
that Leviticus 25 is a principle of truth and it's a principle of righteousness. And he said a way to prove that this is Yah's land is to make sure that the land is not in the name of the person that he has put in control. Now, what modern day has done is he will come out and say, it's not, it's in the name of the foundation, but he controls the foundation. Remember his teaching. He did a teaching telling you own nothing but control everything. That don't line up with Leviticus 25. That doesn't line up when Charles Dahl answered him and said, the brothers, because the land's in their name, if they wanted to run him off, they could. See, if it's in their name, they have the option to get rid of him if he gets crazy. That's what he said back here in 98. What happened? What happened? Oh, believe you, y'all me. This is 31 pages and I didn't even read y'all a whole page. I'm going through this tooth and nail and we need to know what happened. And I guarantee this, don't believe the lies. He may have one, two, three brothers that's on um, the foundation, but he still gets to control it. Let's find out if not. Let's find out if he has four or five. And let's get the names. Tell us the names of the people that are on the foundation called the Straightway Truth Foundation. Straightway Truth Ministry. Who's on that foundation? And do they have the right to run you off, Dow? We want to know. Because this is what you said in 98 to Jim Searcy in an interview. What happened? Why we don't believe this way now? Where did the teaching of own nothing and control everything come in? Because Leviticus 25 don't say that. Show me biblically where it tells us as spiritual leaders to own nothing but control everything. Remember, I'll read it again. This is your words. A practical way, uh, Dow, these are your words, a practical way of proving that the land is God's land is that the spiritual authority raised up by God on that land does not own the land. We know things are going to change. Well, I'm going to read that part. He said back then, this is a practical way to prove it. Make sure that the spiritual authority don't own the land, meaning don't control it. Y'all, y'all got to understand what that meant in 98. 98 means you don't own it, you don't control it. How do we know that? Go back up to what he said earlier. The land is the people's land. If they want to run me off, they could. How can they do that? Because they got authority over the land. It's in their name. What happened? We'll wait for an explanation. We'll wait for a response video. Let's go.